Hello guys welcome back to Black Metal Promotion, this videos is tribute John one of the greatest black metal frontmen all the time, so let's begin. John Andreas Notvade, June 28, 1975 to August 13, 2006, was a Swedish musician best known as the lead guitarist and vocalist of the Swedish black metal band Dissection. He co-founded the band in 1989 with bassist Peter Palmdahl. Notvade also performed in several other projects, including The Black, Asrietas, De Infernali, Niflheim, Ophthalmia, As Shadow, Satanized, Sirens Yell, and Terror, a grindcore band which featured members of At The Gates. As the main songwriter and vocalist for Dissection he released the seminal black metal albums The Somber Lane and Storm of the Lights Bane. These albums would prove to be highly influential release for both black metal and melodic death metal. In the beginning of his musical career, Nodvade formed a heavy metal band called Thunder with his brother Emil in 1988. Their songs were presented in a compilation album of Nodvade's music school in Stromstad. He also worked as a journalist in Metal Zone, where he was responsible for keeping track of the growing black metal scene. He was a member of the Misanthropic Luciferian Order, MLO, now known as Temple of the Black Light, and the Werewolf Legion, a Swedish criminal organization based in Stockholm. Contrary to popular belief, Nodvade was not the co-creator of MLO, but was introduced, by close friends at a quite early stage. Murder of Joseph Ben Medur On July 23, 1997, the body of an unknown man was discovered in a park in the city of Gothenburg, in western Sweden. The man, who had been shot twice with a pistol, was identified two days later as Joseph Ben Medur, aged 36, a homosexual and Algerian national, who had been living in Sweden for many years. After many months of investigation, the police were able to apprehend the two murderers. They were named as John Nodvade, aged 22, the frontman of extreme metal band Dissection, and his friend Vlad, aged 20, an Iranian national settled in Sweden. Vlad was also a suspect in other murder and assault cases around that time. After further investigation police know that Nodvade and Vlad, were members of Temple of the Black Light, had on several occasions discussed performing human sacrifices before they murdered Medur. Whether the motive was occult-related or not could not be clearly established, however, and the murder was described as a homophobic hate crime by the Swedish police. And finally police arrest Vlad and John. But they denied any involvement in Medur's death, but after John was remanded on probable cause, Nodvade eventually made a confession. His account started the night of 21 to July 22, 1997, which he spent drinking at various pubs and clubs in Gothenburg, along with Vlad and two other friends. In the early morning, the two other friends headed back home, while Nodvade and Vlad started roaming in the city center. Next to a park locally known as a meeting place for gay men, they were accosted by a stranger, who at the sight of their clothes, asked them if they were Satanists, and told them he wanted to learn about this cult. At first, Nodvade and Vlad tried to push back the unknown man, but he insisted. This was how they came to know Medur. The two friends eventually invited Medur to follow them to Nodvade's home. While on the way, Medur's behavior and speech made clear he was a homosexual, which made Nodvade and Vlad feel angry and offended. Once they reached Nodvade's home, Medur appeared scared and refused to step in. Nodvade and Vlad then suggested continuing their discussion about Satanism at Keeler's Park. The three men hit the streets again, but before they left, Nodvade entered his flat to pick up the pistol and the taser. Once at Keeler's Park, Vlad took the taser from Nodvade, and tried unsuccessfully to immobilize Medur. Medur attempted to run away, but his escape was cut short when Vlad shot a first bullet in his back, followed by a second bullet in his head. When faced with his contradictions, Vlad also confessed to the murder. His version of the events was very similar to Nodvade's, apart from one significant difference, according to him, Nodvade was the one who had held the gun, and who had pulled the trigger twice. Nodvade and Vlad were released in 2004, 
after spending seven years behind bars. John Death On August 13, 2006, Nodvade was found dead in his apartment in Hasselby by an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound inside a circle of lit candles. Early reports indicated that he was found with an open copy of the Satanic Bible, but these were later dismissed by dissections guitarist Set Seiton. According to him, it's not any atheist, humanist, and ego worshipping the Satanic Bible by Anton Levy that John had in front of him, but a Satanic grimoire. He despised Levy and the Church of Satan. The said Satanic grimoire is reputed to be the Liber Azrit, one of the publishings of the misanthropic Luciferian order, by which Nodvade apparently was influenced, his last album Rain Chaos's lyrics being co-written by the same man who wrote the Liber Azrit. Nodvade's brother, Emil Nightmare Industries Nodvade, the rhythm guitarist and keyboardist of gothic industrial metal band Death Stars, wrote a song named Via the End the night he heard about Nodvade's suicide. The song appears as the fifth track on Death Star's 2009 album Night Electric Night. Regarding his views on suicide, Nodvade said, The Satanist decides of his own life and death and prefers to go out with a smile on his lips when he has reached his peak in life, when he has accomplished everything, and aim to transcend this earthly existence. But it is completely unsatanic to end one's own life because one is sad or miserable. The Satanist dies strong, not by age, disease, or depression, and he chooses death before dishonor. Death is the orgasm of life. So live life accordingly, as intense as possible. Thank you for watching if you like this video subscribe for more videos. Rest in hell John gone but never forgotten see you in hell.